Hi everyone, welcome to Gate Academy. I am back here again with another interesting interview question, which is uh, where do you see yourself five years from now or what are your career goals? So I'm sure most of you will come across this question at least once in your career. So why do employers ask these questions? The employers ask these questions to have an understanding of your future goals, first of all. Second, uh, they want to understand whether those goals align with the goals of the company or not. And most importantly, whether you intend to stay with the company for a longer period of time or not. While most of us may not know where we want to be in the next few years, being prepared for this answer will set you apart from several other candidates who have you know, applied for the same job. And the interviewer is going to pick you above the other candidates only if you sound dependable, all right? So here in this video, first we will see what we are not supposed to say uh, if we are asked this question. Second, we'll see what are the things that we should keep in mind. And at last, I will be sharing two sample answers with you, all right? So make sure you watch the video till the end. So let's start. So how not to answer this question? Number one, you're not supposed to say that I don't know or maybe it's hard to say. So say kya lagega interviewer ko that you're very casual, you do not have any goals for you in your life and careless jaisa attitude jo hai wo unko show ega. So ye aapko nahi bolna hai ki aapko nahi pata hai. As a student, as a future employee, you are expected to know I mean, at least a visualization on our cheeky hum kaha jana chate in next five years. Me to hume as a nibon, I don't know. So, you will have to prepare an answer for this. Then, you do not have to say, I want to be the CEO of the company, as I have come across students answering this and during mock interviews. So, yeah, this first of all sounds unprofessional and it is a kind of unrealistic as well. Hey na? So, you're not supposed to say this as well. Next thing which you should uh, not be saying is, I want to be on the other side of the table taking interviews. So again, this is a stupid answer which you should not say, okay? So now let's see what are the things that you should be keeping in mind while answering this question. So the first thing that you should be looking for is the career path in that position. Whatever position you are entering into, suppose as a fresher, you join in position. Pe join karte hai. So you check karna hai ki once it, you know, once you gain an experience of like one year, one and a half years or two years, uske baad mein kya career path hai, kya growth opportunities hai within that position. So ye jo hai aur aage ki bhi to do points hai ye aapko help hoga glass door ke bare mein sabko pata hoga that's an online platform wherein you will get you know a lot of reliable information so make use of it the second thing that you should be looking for is the training and development opportunities that the organization gives to its employees so once i'll tell you sample answers you'll get to know ki cheezon ko relate kaise karna hai and number 3 that you should be searching for is the uh, some any interesting project that the company uh, you know will be uh, coming up in the near future so before you you know uh, answer this question you need to do a complete a research most importantly for these three things that i just mentioned as in the career path for position number two i said is the training and development opportunities and number three is your uh, project if the company is ringing in so these all things that you need to remember now let us look at two sample answers wherein you'll be able to relate to the three points and you know you'll be able to make a good answer for yourself so let's start so here you go with sample answer number one my ultimate goal for next five years is to master my position and advance to a managerial position. I plan to achieve this by completing lots of training and development courses and also by working on challenging projects that constantly push my skills and qualities which will ultimately help me in giving my best in every work that I do. So this answer you can use or you can you know, conveniently customize it as per your requirement. All right. 
So let us look at sample answer number two. In next five years, I plan to be working with your company, having gained advancement into a higher level. I see myself taking on new and exciting projects within your company and help business move forward significantly. I would also want to be seen as someone who could be relied upon to deliver results on time and of the required standard. So these were <coughs> two sample answers and I just hope this video is going to help you prepare this difficult interview question. All the best. Go ahead and prepare a good answer for yourself and I will see you guys super soon with more exciting interview questions. Bye-bye. Take care.